Welcome back to more of this game here. Things from space for Spybox 2, some assembly required walkthrough. I know it took longer in the previous video. And don't worry, I will go and give the two onions to Chef Gina. Just, um, in the meantime, just gonna play this game here for fun. When I get game over, I will do what I gotta do, which is by giving the two onions to Chef Dinah and to make the onion delight. Now, normally I don't know how many those there are. But like I said before, just do as many as you want for as much as you want. You got the high score. You can only enter three layers for a name here. Press stop button to exit. Now I'm going to go and give the the two onions to Chef Dinah. That way she can make the onion delight. Go right in, Chuck. Thank, thank you, sir. Give the two onions to Chef Dinah here and to make the onion delight. <laughs> here you are, two big juicy onions. Wonderful. How exciting that you should find two so identical. They appear to be exactly alike. Perhaps they're related. The secret to gourmet cooking is careful mixing of only the finest ingredients. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to try that one of these days. Watch her work her magic. Voila! Thank you. My breath should now be potent enough to get me past that electronic sniffer and into the secret workings of the giant robot dog. Next, I want to head back here and go to that back to that room, that place right there. Uh, I'll show you. Head back over here. Go across the bridge. Use the breath analyzer and to get in here. What do you know about that? Onion Delight did the trick. Now I can come and go as I please. Here we are, inside this fortress. La Roche's breath analyzer was no match for a clever international spy like me. I must be in the belly of La Roche's evil beast. I should have a look around. Meanwhile, La Roche... Look again. 
The fools are unaware that by simply entering the fair, they are making possible my plans for world domination. As they enter the fair, they pass through a turnstile, which rotates a series of gears beneath the admissions gate. These gears, in turn, rotate a giant underground thread screw that passes below the fair to the base of my cleverly disguised giant robot dog. From there, another series of gears turn, spinning the drive shaft, which turn, yet more gears that wind up the massive spring that will power my unstoppable, evil dog bot. When the one million tourists comes to the turnstile, my evil dog bot will be completely wound. And then, I will unleash the dog bot on the unsuspecting world and conquer it in the name of Smelly! <laughs> Holy Roach, that is a good one. We'll show him. Head over here. Uh? Now you're probably wondering where to go to from here. Here you want to press the button. Take a look at this. Look at all those, those. Pushing this button feeds the fly traps. Those fly traps open up so wide I can see their tonsils. Here's what happens when you go over here. I'm blinded by the light. I need something to shield my eyes. Which we need the glasses. Which, which I don't have. Too bad I don't have them with me. You're probably wondering how to how to get through this door right here. Head back over here. Go up here. Here's a button that says fast and slow. makes the conveyor belt go faster. Just hang on a second. Head back, head down here. Grab these goggles here. I have the goggles. We can use it to go to that door. But also another one of the characters to meet. The, yeah, also the goggles, that's for the Cape Cod. Head back out here. Exactly here. Now I can use these goggles and to give it to the Cape Cod. M use these goggles and to give them to the Cape Cod. I believe these are yours, Cape Cod. My lucky goggles! I can't believe my eyes! Ugh, everything sure smells a lot different with these on. You mean, looks a lot different, don't you? No, smells a lot different. Where'd you find these? Sorry, they've been in my pocket for a while. Watch him perform at the sun show right here. Launch himself out of, out of a cannon. Quite, quite a show too, I have to admit. Head back over here. Back over here. And I still gotta figure out how to turn, how to open them, um, solve the, how to open that cage that has the button inside. I will, however, figure it out off camera. Head back over here. And the reason I'm going to do it off camera, that way you want to see me with so many failed attempts of trying to figure out how to open the cage. That's the end of this video in the meantime. I know it took longer in the previous video. 
I would have saved more of um things from space in this part, but that's okay. I'm gonna save my game here. I'll see you next part for more of this walkthrough. Save! I'll see you then. Bye!